There you go. Oh, yeah, you probably got to drag it over. Oh, yeah. All right, I think you open it twice. I will. I'll watch it twice. Planning in an area that 
probably rains a lot, you're going to probably want to film when it doesn't rain. You're going to uh, prepare for anything that might happen, any contingency. I just said that twice. Um, got a, what the directors do is they think of everything, they try to plan for everything, they try to, um, let's see, try not to get into uh, any trouble, they have to um, get permission to film there. Everything is planned for ahead of time in pre-production process. Now, through production, this is when the actual filming happens. Through actual filming, you need the actors, you need props, you need costume design. Which is two things I have right here. So, costume design, first off, and props. Now, you want good actors. You don't want the ones, the crappy actors. Um, you want the ones who are going to play the part the best. The ones who know what they're going to do, the ones who will play the part. Um, you want funny ones? You're going to find the funny ones. Now, how many of you have heard of Michael Bay? George Lucas? Um, so, like, half the class. According to the poll, Several of you have no idea through the filming process. Apparently, only like four, three of you? No? Um, you backed up the slides. Now, through the production process, this is when all the, this is when the cameras start making their first appearance, when they start actually filming in their settings and everything. Of course, you're going to have the actors, such as a few people you might recognize here, like Darth Vader or the Assassino. Now, you're going to want settings as well. Good settings. Something that will relate to the plot. Something that will help with the character or help with their story. Now, the costumes need to relate to the era they're in, unless it's like completely fictional, your only idea, your, um, your own personal idea, then they can be whatever they want. Now the props need to be useful to the character and need to be able to be compatible with special effects. Now post-production is all the editing comes in. When they throw in all the special effects, all the fun stuff, all the explosions, usually use gasoline for explosions, but um, this is when they throw in the lighting effects, the lightning, all this stuff is in post-production. They don't throw it in like start shooting guns at each other during post-production. I mean, during the production, you're going to kill someone like that. Unless you have like a special prop in a gun they call a blank. It's a bullet casing without the bullet inside. You can fire it and nothing's going to come out. Um, that's part of the uh, editing process. They put, need to put the muzzle flash in front. This is where all the um, editors come in. This is um, for programs like Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, a whole bunch of stuff you can, uh, Adobe programs you can use. Not, they're not extremely professional, but they do help. I've had some experience in the past with Adobe After Effects. Very helpful program. Now, this relates to me because I was usually part of the post-production process. I did most of the editing, most of the effects, everything that happens, putting the footage together. That's actually pretty fun when you um, see the final result. Now, it is a slightly time-consuming, I must admit, but it is definitely worth it. Well, if you did it correctly. Um, sometimes you might have a few mistakes, but it's all about trial and error. But it's fun. I mean, the first thing you got to do is have fun with the program and have fun making films. You can't just start filming without an idea and then you're not going to have fun with it. And it's just kind of come out like crap. 
Now, distribution is when it starts coming out to the public. This is when they've done all the editing, putting it all together, put all the um, credits and everything, given everyone every, uh, their credit, um, finished putting the intros and everything. This is when you start seeing it in theaters. How many of you saw Jurassic World? It was pretty good, right? <laughs> now that took planning. They planned very well. They actually used a good idea, although they did sort of recycle a the concept, they did make it pretty well. I still like the original movies. That was pretty good as well. Have any of you seen the original Jurassic Park movies? All of those movies. Yeah, those are pretty good, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Meh? Yeah. Okay. Those also went through the filming process. Now, Transformers, has anyone seen that? Now, that one used a crap ton of special effects. The post production process took most of its time during Transformers. But as soon as distribution came out, it came out to the public, and that's when people start watching it. Distribution is um, when it hits the theaters, sometimes to the DVD, straight to DVD. And uh, that's my work cited. Grazie for your time. <laughs>